Hey, bro. Oh, hey, man. How's it going? How's it going? I'm good. I'm good. How are you? How's it going? It's like, what is the point in even asking if all he's gonna do is say the same thing back? I ask because I'm curious about how you're actually doing. I'm not just... I'm not just textbooking it like you probably are, man. Hey, bro, how you going? 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 Yeah, 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 gotcha, yeah, yeah. You know, it, it kind of got me thinking about how terrible most people are at social interactions. Like, no one's really genuinely listening. No one's really interested in what other people are saying. They're just going through the motions of social interaction. So, this is my five weird things people do when they're talking that aren't genuine and show that they're not interested in you things. That thing when you, you're telling someone a story, okay, I'm gonna make up a really dumb story now, and just as an example, okay, this is the story. Yeah, so I was, I was baking these cupcakes, and I couldn't decide between strawberry and banana, so I decided to just go with what it was in the fridge, and I had a bunch of bananas in the fridge. And then the person you're talking to goes like this. Oh man, I hate strawberries, eh? Oh, fuck, strawberries, mate. Oh, speaking of strawberries, I hate strawberry flavored things too. And, and all fruit flavored things, like all the fruit bursts and the, the, the horrible lollies. Okay, I'm just gonna rip off a random story off the top of my head as an example of this next one. Don't you hate it when people just forget to indicate out of the roundabout? And you're not really sure if they're gonna go straight or they're gonna turn and block you off and they might crash into you? Like, what, what, don't you, doesn't, doesn't that annoy you? Like, it's been annoying me a lot lately. What do you think about that? The other day I was waiting at an intersection and this guy was texting on his phone and he, and he just turned in front of me. <laughs> so I nearly crashed into him. I have the insurance. Because all that tells me is that everything I just said, you didn't even listen to any of it. Because you told me a new story about yourself. Most people these days who are listening to what you're talking about, they're more interested in what they have to say than what you have to say. So in that example I just did, I was telling him about something I was interested in and I wanted to get his input, see what he felt about it. And all he did was realize that I'm talking about traffic complaints and thought of his own story from his own experience, completely neglecting my story. And all it does <laughs> is show that they're not interested in you at all. All they care about is what they're saying. Yeah, another one I thought of is when you're telling someone a story and they have zero patience for you to keep talking. So, you're telling the story. Yes, I was going around the roundabout and some guy- Oh, yeah, it's so annoying when that- Yeah, some, some guy was- he didn't indicate- Yeah, it's so annoying when that happens, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he should have been indicating- No, that happens to me all the time. Yeah, oh my god, it's- he, he should have been indicating out, but he... Yeah, yeah. Well, this one time, this one time... STOP! How about you let me speak my story? It's not your story. Just let me finish my story. Then it's... Then you can have a turn. Afterwards. <laughs> you just wait your turn. Be patient. And then there's the one where people realize some input they want to give early on in your story, or what you're saying. And they're so excited to give their piece of the pie that they fully don't listen to the rest of what you're saying. So they kind of go like this. Just the other day, a couple, couple mates and I were at the at the beach, and we oh, saw this really gross old man lying on the, lying on the we towel. Johnny and I and were at the beach, we went in the road. Kind of awkwardly, he had a bit a of a ball split. And, 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 and my foot was bleeding. We, we and were was so trying to work out whether we should let oh, him know. So, so he looked so kind of like a nice old, old man. Had, People do that inside their head. You may not be aware of it, but they're doing it. You're still talking about your story. And they're in another world, inspired by your story. And it's just so rude. Yeah, I'm quite passionate about social interaction because what's the point in engaging with somebody if you're not actually gonna listen to each other? I just don't get it. Why would I talk to you if you're not interested? You may have heard of compulsive liars, but what about compulsive digressors? Hey bro, did I tell you about my car? No, no, what happened? So I was, I was driving it the other day on the highway and then this other car, just the same as mine, pulled up. Do you find it so funny when there's another car the same as you next to you? Man, it's so weird. Or when when you're standing next to somebody with the same T-shirt on as you, or or when you've got the same cell phone. Oh, I traded numbers with a uh, with a guy the other day who had the same phone as me. He was actually real cool. He had awesome hair. I think I'm gonna go to the hairdresser and get the same haircut as him. That would be awesome. It was kind of like sticking up like grease. 
Have you seen Greece? Isn't it great? Like, you know the car in Greece? I saw it the other day in this museum, what, a replica, and it was just, it was great. STICK TO ONE TOPIC! I don't know if it's just me, but I find it so annoying when people digress like that. Like, it's, we start talking about something and they just go... Pfft. That was really weird. It was really weird. I don't know about most other people, but I make a huge effort to be interested when people are talking to me. Like, I'll ask questions, I will dive deeper into the topics they're discussing. I want to show them that the words they're speaking to me mean something to me. It's not just garbage. It's that's how I feel when I talk to people. Like they treat it like garbage. <laughs>